Hey everybody, I just got this in a couple weeks ago and I need to show you. I got a chamber vac from Vivor and I'm telling you, we're not gonna throw away food anymore, especially soup. It never fails. My wife makes way too much soup and all of us are sick of it, except for her. She'll keep on eating it for like a week. But with this new Vivor DZ260C, we don't have to worry about it. We can go ahead, vacuum seal it up, put it in the freezer, have it next week or maybe even a couple weeks later but we don't have to worry about it because now it's froze just take it out and heat it back up this chamber vac model it does require oil so if you purchase this model or one like it the first thing that you need to do is take off that back cover and check to make sure that there is oil in that reservoir it's pretty simple vivor even sends you some oil in case you have to fill it up now we didn't actually have to put very much in mind i'll run this chamber vac for a couple months and then take off the back cover check that oil level again when i received the vacuum sealer it was packaged good pretty easy to take out of the box and for assembly all you have to do is take out the cord and plug it in. Here's a couple things that are inside the box. You have this little sealing like protectant tape, metal banding, I'm pretty sure that goes with the sealer itself, and an Allen wrench. This Allen wrench is in case you wanna take off the lid and clean it up real well. And you can see it is a pretty thick poly glass, but I wouldn't take that off and use it as a viewing window on my expiration submarine to go see the Titanic. But if you want, I could put it on the end of an old water heater. We could go out in the end of the mill pond and see where Elford buried his old 1965 Ford. And I'd only charge you 500 bucks to go see that sunken treasure. This little handle on top of the lid is just for storage. They have these orange little pieces on there, probably so you don't scratch it all up. And inside the chamber, it does have this nice little catch that holds your bag down. It came with these two little orange little pieces on there. I took them off because the bag would shift when I first started setting it up. You also have this nice little stand and that just brings your product up closer to the sealer. If you're doing bigger bags with larger amount of liquids, then you probably don't want this in there. You got a power cord too. And I like this style because it's pretty easy for storage. You just leave it right inside the chamber when you're not using it. Plug it in, in this end and then plug her into the wall. Gravy. Your power button is right here. The little mini computer on this is digital so you can set each of your different little requirements for when you're sealing. You have your vacuum time, your sealing time and your cool down time. A couple other things that you have on this controller is you have an emergency stop. You'd probably use that if you don't have your bag pushed back past your sealer. And to be honest, that's something you should check every single time you put a bag in. Make sure that you're past that sealer or you're gonna have an oopsie, especially if you're dealing with liquid. You also have the option to single or dual seal the bag and you have your vacuum meter. One thing that you're going to want to make sure that you're always cleaning up a little bit with just some water is this silicone seal that goes around the outside of this lid. Now when it's on, obviously, how you use it, get your bag in and then you close up the lid and once you hear that seal, it's certainly working. But we're just going to emergency stop it. See? Emergency. I didn't have anything in there. One thing that I suggest that you do the first time you're going to use it is get your bag and just put a little water in it to make sure that this chamber is working correctly. It's also a chance to make sure that your vac time is set correctly. I went up just a couple more seconds because the first thing that I was planning on doing was pizza sauce. No, it's not blood. It's pizza sauce. We do a lot of pizza around here, so when I'm making any of the ingredients, I like to go ahead and make enough so I can freeze it up. So every single time that we want pizza, we just take it out a couple days prior, and there we go. Each one of these bags gives me enough sauce to be able to do four 12 inch pizzas. In the past, I would just use Ziploc bags and try to take all the air out, but I never would be able to get all of it. So, of course, I'd have a bunch of crystalled up pizza sauce. You know, 
moisture, freezer burn type of crap. See, now all I have is this nice solid bag of pizza sauce. The only thing I do need though is something to actually hold the bags because it's kind of a pain in the butt holding the bag and trying to scoop in the sauce because then you gotta wipe off the edges a little bit because you really don't want any liquids or goop where you're gonna end up sealing up that bag tight. Inside the chamber itself, it is just over 13 inches wide and 14 inches long. The perfect bag for this unit is probably the 10 by 12 bag because you only have a little over 12 inches of ceiling available. You can get bigger bags than that if you want, but just remember you only have 12 inches of ceiling. So whatever it is, the max that you can seal up is going to be a 12 inch whatever bag. And one big bonus about getting a chamber vac over a regular food saver is that the bags are super cheap. Check them out on Amazon. They're pennies. A thousand for like 50 bucks or less. Maybe I'm off there a little bit, but they really are inexpensive. This unit is made out of stainless steel. That's great. Easy for cleanup. And I will say that every single time that you use this, make sure that you're cleaning up inside the chamber. Now with this unit, it does have some weight to it. It is just under 62 pounds. For all of you super nerds out there, the vac motor is 180 watts and the ceiling is 320 watts. Okay, well, we shut her off, close her up. See how nice that stores? It's perfect. It's perfect. It really is great to have a chamber vac. I mean, honestly, you can go ahead and marinate some steaks or chicken because there's liquids in it. It's pretty hard to do that on a food saver. It's almost impossible. Or you can even store powders in there. If you want them, go ahead and grind up a bunch of rub. You can put smaller little pint jars in here and can your rub or can whatever. Put a couple little jars in there. Boom, vacuum sealed. Simple. No boilings and all that crap. You know, just put it in there. You know, you can get right behind this thing, you know. Oh, look there, Johnny. There's the little blue necklace. I know this video is filled with my morbid sense of humor, but I can't help it. There really isn't a lot to talk about this thing other than it did a great job. I can't wait to save more food, but yeah, She's a beauty, Clark. I really am happy with this. I've wanted a chamber vac for the longest time, but never really felt that spending a thousand dollars on one was really cost effective. This one, you can get it for around $450 or less. Less, check the links below. There is some discount codes and there's other ways to save a little bit more money. Just go to Vivor's website. But if you don't use my link, then you don't get to save as much money. And money is important, right? Especially right now, just saying. And if you haven't yet, go watch the movie Sound of Freedom. I'm serious. If you care about children, which I do, I have kids and I used to coach, Kids are great. Go watch that movie. It's very important. Well, that's all I got. Roll it in.